Well, hello everybody and welcome to another Salon Success Sunday. So I've got another question here, completely anonymous, of course. This is one I actually get asked quite frequently, both in the salon and online. And the question is, how do I become an educator for a product line? I'd really love to eventually do platform work as well. So I was a Pravana educator for many, many years in the field. I did platform work as well. You'll see me in some of their videos online um, until I became too busy with my own endeavors to do it anymore. Um, but I have people in my salon who do the work for them now as well. Um, so I feel I can give you some steps needed to sort of get you on a what I'll call quick start path. So let's get started. So step one is to become really good behind the chair. Know the modern techniques um, of balayage, freehand painting, um, no creative colors, and all the things that are really trending online now. You'll also want to make sure that you get really, really good at retailing in the salon. Be the retail expert in the salon. Know your products in and out. Know that product knowledge. Super, super important if you want to get with a line. Another thing is to not forget to take pictures of your work. You want to start building a portfolio of your best pieces in the salon. So step two is gonna be to read presentation books. I have two of my favorites right here, one of them being Presentation SOS and the other being How to Present Like a Pro. These were super, super helpful when I was starting years ago. The other thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you are practicing presentation. So I recommend um, contacting your local Toastmasters. It's a great way to practice presentation skills and just get in front of people and talking. Um, I think oftentimes um, that is the hardest thing is just to be able to get yourself in front of a group of people and talk to them. You can also grab your friends, grab your friends and your colleagues. Um, you know, another thing to do is to be the trainer in the salon. Start training all of the new hires that come into the salon on product knowledge and things like that. It just kind of gets you ready and equipped so that you have your best foot forward when you start working for a line. Step three is to be yourself. This was one that took me quite some time to learn. Um, in the beginning of my career, I spent a lot of time trying to be, well, somebody that I wasn't. And um, this came from all sorts of different places. It came from the people that were, you know, my coaches and mentors. And while I feel that they meant well at the time, and I did grab a few, you know, good hot tips from it to take with me, um, I left the rest. And the reason for that is because you really need to stay true to yourself and just be authentic. People can see that. And it's important to um, make sure that you're coming across natural. I remember a time as an educator when I sat down with one of my mentors and they told me that I needed to tone it down, that I needed to be more like this platform artist or more like this person, essentially saying man up. Um, and you know, the funny thing is the joke's on them because I started hitting the gym and changing my look and doing all these things and it just didn't feel natural to me. If you go onto my Instagram, you will see um, sort of the humor that I put into it. So what I started doing was I started to post pictures with me online holding a football and just doing all these really manly things. And while I really, really enjoy working out now, that was the best thing that I took from that. See, something good always comes from those kinds of things. But anyway, um, that's a whole nother story. Uh, but. Um, as a joke, I started posting these pictures and um, suddenly people started to take interest and um, I really enjoyed doing them and it just became a part of who I am. And um, the lesson of the story, I guess, is don't give a shit what other people think about you and just be yourself. So with all that said, the last and final step is to contact the manufacturers that you want to be a part of and go through their application and audition process. Uh, remember when I said take pictures? That's going to come in handy now when you're ready to apply and contact the lines that you want to work for. 
you know, you may not even want to be a part of a line. You may want to go online and broadcast yourself and do your own thing and, and just do you, and that's cool too. Um, there's a lot of great companies that will support you uh, if you do so. The other thing you can do is get online and um, broadcast what you know to the general public. Show them beauty tips and things like that. That's another avenue of, um, you know, doing you online. There are some really great online companies that you can be a part of uh, if you want to speak to the general public about beauty tips and things like that. Um, I'll put one of them below. That is my favorite, of course. And um, you can check it out. It's really cool because you can sign up, become an affiliate, and start to support a lot of different products that are in the professional community and make some money in the process. So I hope this information is helpful to you in your journey to becoming a educator, platform artist, or online beauty guru extraordinaire. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you can be alerted to more Salon Success Sundays. Until next time.